what are the types of derivatives and how do they help you in risk management so the first and foremost what we have we have something which is known as forward forward contract then what we have is future or future contracts then we have options and then we have swaps uh, now what is a forward contract uh, let me tell you a forward contract is a very good tool for uh, risk management and I will give you a very simple example as to how would the uh, forward act as a good risk management. Let's say for example uh, you have imported a consignment of 1 million US dollar uh, from America and you have to make a payment of this 1 million dollar two months from hence. Now uh, you do not know as to what is going to happen to the rupee dollar rate two months down the line or rather your view is that uh, it is likely that the rupee will depreciate or the dollar will appreciate two months down the line. Now remember if that happens it is not good for you because if rupee depreciates or if the dollar appreciates two months down the line for the same one million dollars you will have to shell out more rupees and that means you are carrying a financial risk. So what can you do to cover this risk? For covering this risk what you can do is to take a forward contract. Now uh, what is a forward contract and how will you do it? So forward contract is a contract that means you will go and talk to your bank, tell your bank that you have an obligation to pay 1 million US dollars to your, uh, uh, to your uh, supplier in America uh, after two months. And you can buy a forward contract from the bank for 1 million US dollars. Now the what the bank will do, bank will uh, bank will sign a forward contract with you. Now what would be the implications of this forward contract? Implication of this forward contract will be at the time of signing the bank will freeze the exchange rate at which they will make 1 million US dollar available to you two months down the line. So that means what? That means suppose today if the dollar is at 82 rupees and uh, uh, the bank will of course do their uh, calculations and find out as to what is the cost that they will incur on this and what margin they would like to add. So let's say they would uh, freeze uh, the forward contract at the rate of 85 uh, uh, rupees per dollar. Uh, which means what? Which means two months down the line when you have to remit this 1 million dollar to your uh, uh, supplier in America uh, you do not have to worry about as to what happens to the US uh, dollar rupee rate two months down the line. Even if it becomes 90 rupees or 92 rupees it doesn't really matter. Since you have taken a forward contract uh, you will be able to buy uh, 1 million dollars from the bank at the rate of 85 rupees uh, per dollar only. So this is how it helps you to cover your uh, risk uh, and that means you are able to freeze your risk uh, by signing the forward contract. So that is your forward contract and this is how it helps you to cover your risk uh, uh, in case of you are dealing in the foreign currency transactions. It can also help you in many other ways. In case, it can also help you in case of stocks also similar way as we have discussed. But there is a lacuna when it comes to the forward and what is the lacuna? The lacuna is uh, uh, the forward contracts are are customized. They are they are known as over the counter contracts, and the the risk is in case if you sign a forward contract, and uh, so you have signed a signed a forward contract uh, for buying one million dollars uh, two months down the line at the rate of rupee dollar exchange rate of eighty five. Now what happens in case contrary to your view? If the rupee starts appreciating and the dollar starts depreciating, in that case what will happen? And in that case, uh, if you would not have taken uh, this forward contract, you would have been able to pay uh, lesser money, lesser rupees for the same amount of dollar without doing anything. And that is the risk that you have in case of the forward contract. That means what? That means having bought a forward contract, you cannot uh, just forget about it. You will have to continuously keep a track as to what is happening in the market uh, uh, to the rupee dollar exchange rate and depending on as to in which direction 
it is moving you will have to take the corrective action say for example if you you realize that contrary to your uh, your view that the rupee is going to depreciate and dollar is going to appreciate if it is happening the other way round so what you will need to do you will need to maybe reverse the forward contract that you have signed so as to st st stop the effect of the forward contract and be able to take benefit of the spot rate uh, of uh, dollar since the do dollar is depreciating and rupee is appreciating then you have uh, uh, something which is known as future so uh, remember futures are nothing but forward contracts only the only difference is forward contract uh, is uh, a customized one and there is uh, uh, there is a third party risk involved because it is between two parties only and uh, uh, and and this is uh, uh, over the counter so two parties like you and the bank will meet together and then you will uh, you will sign the forward contract uh, contrary to this what you have you have futures so what are futures futures are standardized products and they are not otc they are not traded over the counter they are rather traded on the stock exchange on the exchange they they, they trade on the exchange and uh, the advantage in case of future is uh, they are they they are they are standardized products so uh, they are easily available and uh, you can simply go to the exchange and you can buy and sell the uh, futures so that is the difference between the futures and the forward uh, forwards are standardized and futures sorry forwards are customized and futures are uh, uh, f forwards are customized futures are stock exchange exchange traded and uh, uh, number two uh, there is a counterparty risk in this case and there is no counterparty risk in case of future and then you have something which is known as options 